like white, uh, what do you call it? Explosive. A long canopy wing below. This does the canopy will just blow back as it is. It's about 200 meters that direction to it on the ground. And then, within milliseconds, the ejection seat will then fire. It goes up a rail, so you can imagine I'm sat in it now. Fly straight out. Um, if you're above, I think, 16,000 feet, you'll just stay sat in the seat. Because if your parachute came out above that, you'd have no oxygen and you'd freeze to death because it's like minus 50 odd. So what you'll do, if I eject at 50 odd thousand feet, I just free fall for about 30,000 feet to the seat and like, open the parachute comes out. It's got a little pressure sensor. So when it, when it senses you're about 16k, it'll go, cool, we're there. The seat will fall away and I'll be left. The parachute will come out and I'll be there, hopefully, under a parachute. Um, if there's any twists or anything, I can like shake them off. I can cut a line with my cutter to make sure it's all good. Next thing happens, I'm heading towards trees or something, or a building. I'm like, oh no, so we've got different drills for that. But let's say I'm going to go into the sea. It's not ideal. A little PFP will come below me hanging. Um, and then I'll touch down into the sea. Probably about a broken arm or leg at this point because the jet's kicked me out with so much G-force. I'm going with me in a good way. Probably shrunk my spine by about an inch. Uh, I'm now in the sea in pain. I've now got to get above the sea, get my life, uh, life preserver inflated. Um, and then I'm going to inflate the little ice raft. So I can't show you now, but it's a little orange dinghy for one person. So I'm going to get in that, probably with a broken arm, try and pull myself in. Once I'm in, I'm going to roll over. I'm going to blow it up if, if the inflate is broken. Um, but blow it all up. So I'm in this little little life raft now, surrounded by plastic, keeping warm. Then I'm going to bail out all the water. Then I'm going to put a location to make some ice up so a helicopter finds me. Meanwhile, I'm getting hit by waves, pitch black. So it, you can see how horrible it can be. Um, you're going to be cold, in shock, broken limbs, hopefully getting, well, if you're not getting found in the middle of the night in a storm. So that's worst case. Best case, you eject, you land at RF Boulder Grove and it's all fine. Um, <laughs> this must be your first, first time here. Hey? This must be your first time here. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so you can eject from the ground. I can eject now and then, it'd be absolutely fine. It, it, it does work from, uh, from the ground without any FTP. Uh, so, uh, yeah, not the best experience. But uh, as I say, in the, in the little... PSP it's called, so like a survival pack. Um, I'll pull that into the raft as well, and that's got everything you need. I think there's like an axe and stuff so you can build a shelter if you really want to. But I think the way technology is going, you probably get so We do get trained to survive in little wooden shelters for like five days on the little, you know, the little um, oil suites. You get about 24 of those, one every 20, every hour you've got one. So, 